The U.S. warship back cruises near China's military base in the West Philippine Sea. A United States Navy guided missile destroyer cruised near a Chinese man made military outpost in the West Philippine Sea on Monday, drawing condemnation from China, which described the warship's entry into the waters as an illegal intrusion. The U.S. Milius conducted a freedom of navigation operation within 12 nautical miles or 22 kilometers of Panganaban, Mischief, Reef, a Chinese military base located within the Philippines' Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ, and upheld the rights, freedoms, and lawful uses of the sea, according to the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet. China on Monday assailed the entry of the U.S. warship into waters it claims in the South China Sea. Missile destroyer U.S. Emilius illegally intruded into the waters adjacent to the Meiji Reef in China's Nanja Islands without the approval of the Chinese government. Tian Junli, spokesperson for the Chinese military's Southern Theater Command, said in a statement. The Chinese official added that Beijing's Air Force followed and carried out surveillance of the vessel. The U.S. Navy mission took place as China was expected to conclude the third day of its military exercises around Taiwan, and as the Philippines and the United States were set to begin their largest ever military exercises on Tuesday. U.S. Milius demonstrated that Mischief Reef, a low tide elevation in its natural state, is not entitled to a territorial sea under international law, the Seventh Fleet said. By engaging in normal operations within 12 nautical miles of Mischief Reef, the United States demonstrated that vessels can lawfully exercise high seas freedoms in those areas, it said. Panganabin Reef, located about 130 nautical miles, 240 kilometers, from mainland Palawan, was seized by China from the Philippines in 1995. Beijing had since transformed the underwater feature into one of its biggest artificially built islands in the Spratly Chain, also known in the Philippines as the Calayan Island Group. The island base has a 3 km airstrip, missile shelters, hangars, and radars. The Philippines has nine small military detachments in these waters, which it calls the West Philippine Sea, while other claimants aside from China are maintaining their own outposts. Some features occupied by the Philippines, like Ayunjin, Second Thomas, and Pagasa, Thigu, are located a few nautical miles away from Chinese outposts. The land reclamation efforts, installations and structures built on Mischief Reef do not change this characterization under international law, the Seventh Fleet said. China claims the entire South China Sea including the West Philippine Sea, waters within the country's EEZ, while the Philippines, China, Brunei, Vietnam, Taiwan, and Malaysia have overlapping claims in the area. In a landmark 2016 ruling, the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague, Netherlands, rejected China's massive nine-dash line claims in the sea. The International Tribunal also ruled that Panganaban Reef is a low-tide feature that constitutes part of the EEZ and continental shelf of the Philippines, over which it exercises sovereign rights. China does not recognize the arbitral ruling. Sweeping claims Unlawful and sweeping maritime claims in the South China Sea pose a serious threat to the freedom of the seas, including the freedoms of navigation and overflight, free trade and unimpeded commerce, and freedom of economic opportunity for South China Sea littoral nations, the Seventh Fleet said. The destroyer had asserted navigational rights and freedoms in the South China Sea near the Spratly Islands, consistent with international law, it added. After the operation, the Milius exited the excessive claim area and continued operations in the South China Sea, it said. Beginning Tuesday, the United States and the Philippines will stage the 18-day Balakitan military exercises involving more than 17,000 troops. Meanwhile, 
Chinese fighter jets and warships are carrying out three days of military drills around Taiwan, including simulated strikes on the island. The war games follow a meeting last week between Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen and U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy outside Los Angeles. China's exercises sparked condemnation from Taipei and a call for restraint from Washington, which said it was monitoring Beijing's actions closely. On Monday, Beijing said fighter jets carrying live ammunition had conducted simulated strikes near Taiwan and that its Shandong aircraft carrier was involved in the ongoing exercises. On Monday, Beijing said fighter jets carrying live ammunition had conducted simulated strikes near Taiwan and that its Shandong aircraft carrier was involved in the ongoing exercises. China claims vast swathes of the area that overlap with exclusive economic zones of various countries, including the Philippines, trillions of dollars in trade flow every year through the waterway.